previously recorded podcast. All right, welcome back to another episode of Previously Recorded. A uh, long time coming in the making. Uh, it's been quite some time. How many ways can you say it's been a while? Uh, stained is the only way that I know. So stained? you can just play that song right now. That'd be great. It's been a while <laughs> since I could. Uh, that's uh, a welcoming back to your eardrums is Bob. Bob, how are you, buddy? I'm good, man. It has been. Our quite, last quite the time. our last episode was at the end of July when we talked about Barbie Oppenheimer and Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One. Okay, so the episode came out when I was in Europe. So that's how long it's been since we've done it. Wow, the beginning of August. I've been drunk ever since. So <laughs> at least I don't remember much in between. It seems like it was yesterday. It does. It feels. It feels like it was yesterday. And welcoming back again. Uh, to the podcast for his annual superstar breakout episode is Shane. Welcome back, bud. What's up? What's new with you? Nothing much. Just super excited to talk about a Hallmark movie. Yeah, nothing. He always is, man. Nothing crazy's happened to nah, you. I mean, in the last some, couple months, right? it's exactly the same. At as some it was. point, halfway through the episode, he'll nonchalantly add some information about his own life. Yeah, and that'll be his <laughs> Christmas present to you, uh, listeners out there. But yeah, what's been new? It's been some time. What's been going on? I don't know since the last spoke the mcu was was an term turmoil uh it's dead um, it's dead now i think it's buried now it's buried a, a very non-deserving movie is getting shit on right now yeah it was it was very enjoyable i, I enjoyed it a lot yeah it was fun it was, it, was, it was fun yeah it was fun it was i laughed like genuinely a lot um it was just as fine as the hunger games ballad of songbirds and snakes they're both just very okay movies and one is getting shit on a lot and the other one is not so i don't feel like that's how mm-hmm. it tells you everything you need to know yeah no it, it it does and i actually quite enjoyed the hunger games i'm not a huge hunger games fan uh not really like the movies but uh, i like the books i didn't read the prequel and we all kind of had like the same opinion about that the hunger games the ballad of songbirds and snakes i think it's called Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, they didn't need to happen as a book or a movie. Yeah, no, nothing. Did. Anytime you hear, anytime I hear that a established franchise is doing a prequel, I'm like, well, why? Because the author has nothing money. else to Show say. Me the money, money, baby. And it's money. It's always money. Oh, I mean, the author I can get because, like, what's her name? Suzanne Collins, I think, yeah. is the, the Hunger Games. So, like, she had already had this, like, Pan Am world created. So, like, sure. There's story to tell there. It's the same as like the Star Wars prequels. Like there's story to tell that is clearly had to have happened at some point. Yeah. So I get it in that regard. But like reading the book, it it's about snow, if anyone doesn't know. So like the president during the Katniss Everdeen Hunger Games. And like I don't know that I gave a fuck about his story, but yet that's the story that's He was told. a really good villain. But I didn't know I needed to see. I didn't. I didn't need to understand why he was filmed. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I was fine with him just being a villain. Yeah, exactly. Me too. But Shane, Shane, you enjoyed it, right? I did. I liked the Hunger Hunger Games series. It it was really good for me until the third act, and then I was like, this and movie lost a lot of steam, which is exactly what the book. Yeah, same thing. So. Uh, Katie had said that. Audrey had said that as well. Yeah, it did feel a bit rushed at the mm-hmm. end. Yeah, it just. But it's nature. weird because the last, and it's literally for if you haven't seen it, it's broken into three parts. So like, yeah. it's not like you, if you were to see it after listening to this, you'll know what we mean by the third act because yeah. they will give you a big black screen that says it's part three. part three. <laughs> but uh, it's weird because like. Part three feels rushed, but also is the part that drags more than any other part of that movie. Yes, I would agree. It was like moving at a slow pace. Because when I saw it was three hours, it was like, Jesus Christ. Um, But yeah, no, and that's, I don't even know. How do we get to talking about the Hunger Games? What's new, man? What oh, things what's that new, we've new. done, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, true, true, true. We're Seen the holdovers. We, we started with the Marvels. Did you, you saw the holdovers. You liked it, I correct? loved it. I loved it. Um. It's it might it's it's not gonna blow you away. I don't I don't think it's a it's a film. It's like a Wes Anderson type film. Where no, it's just like no. no, not like a Wes Anderson film. It's just a really well made movie. Okay, uh, that has uh, heart, humor, and just really great performances. I saw on Twitter that after 
the movie, uh, there's like a whole thing where people are calling him Paul Giahadi. Oh, uh, is he really like not in my screen? Got, he, he didn't get you going. No, awesome made that up. So there's a there's that aspect <laughs> of things too. I I had a feeling you'd made that up. I just thought maybe it was a bit that I I was not in tune <laughs> no, to. Yeah, mm. No, I, I I haven't really even been on Twitter. Considering it's his, X anyway, it's, so it is X. Dead name and things again. Consider ooh, considering his character smells of like fish and has crooked eyes, I don't really think <laughs> Paul Giahadi is carrying. But... I don't think I was paying attention to the trailer. I missed all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that's not in there. Uh, <clears throat> really, highly recommend that film. Um, and then it. It's high on my list for the year. I still need to see Killers of the Flower Moon, which just hit uh, digital, which I don't know when it's coming to streaming. I'll be reading that soon. So yeah, we're, we're starting a book club at work. Oh, very cool. That's our first one because there's a high interest, I guess. Okay, what do you? What's the first book? I'm saying it's Killers of the Flower oh, it's Killers Moon. Killers of the Flower Yeah, because I guess the movie has so. I just bought it. It is, yeah, I know. I Apparently, knew it's a quick read too. Which... That's an Apple film, right? It's going to be on Apple and Paramount. Apple. So I don't know if it's going to be streaming. They hyped that up on Apple for mm-hmm. a year. Because like it was on su- Apple TV prior yeah. to it coming out. So it's got to stream on Apple it TV. It was supposed to be like direct to streaming, just like Napoleon, which these two films, similar budgets, similar but smaller box office to the Marvels. And they were painting different pictures talking about like, you know, the scrutiny that that film's getting. But yeah, Apple... Apple's supposed to be getting it. was originally supposed to be streaming only, but then, you know, Scorsese being Scorsese, they're like, we're going to put this in theaters, strike. But I also feel like they're both, like, big budget, we want to win an Oscar movies. Yeah, this one for sure, Napoleon too, but I don't think Napoleon's as well received. I don't think people... I just feel like any biopic is, like, going for an Oscar. Yeah, and at this time of the year. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen that. But that's, uh, so that Bradley Cooper movie you're seeing, Maestro, yeah, Maestro. That's you're seeing Sunday, correct? Yeah, I'm planning on seeing it Sunday since this is you know live Christmas Christmas Day. You yeah. see, you saw this a few Sundays ago. Uh, yes, because yes, yeah, and you're, it was you're, great. It's my and, favorite movie. And now the live stream starts. <laughs> yeah, it was so, my favorite. Uh, Merry movie. Christmas, Merry everyone. Christmas, guys. Uh, I didn't start off the podcast because I thought it was assumed. Yeah, you know, Merry nah. Christmas, but. Um, Yes, yeah, that's of, a that's a very clear Oscar film. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, like absolutely. that's like a hey. Have also, now that I think about it, what was the film with the 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 conductor film last year that was like Tar Tar Lydia Tar? Who just, I thought did was they real. just rock out male Lydia Tar? Like they're just like let's I, do another one. I thought that one was so close. Let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Tar was about a real person. I didn't see it. It is not. She is a mythical. She's a fictional character. Fictional, but I like mythical instead. But uh, That's a great segue, though, into uh, our topic, but I'm not going to follow that segue, no. and I'm going to pivot back to your book club. Yes. Um, where I have been reading a book that I'm, I'm like 50 pages left called Fourth Wing, and I am loving it. It is my first uh, quote-unquote smutty book. There is sex in the, fil- in the book, mm-hmm. and they talk about rubbing clits, and Dude. Oh, I want you hard and in, enter my cave or some shit. I don't know. But it's about also magic and dragons. And it I has like I a Hogwarts to vibe. I need to the bathroom now. You can, borrow, you can borrow the book for some light reading. It's Go like a 600-page book. Fourth Wing. This, this cover looks familiar. Is this, was this it's like the second up? book that just came out. It's, a, it's kind of... Like sweeping book clubs, like I don't, okay. I don't want to say sweeping the nation, but like it's very popular. It's, the podcast that I used, that I've been on a couple of times, and we're friends with the Half Blood uh, Podcast, has changed their podcast, and this is one of the first books that they're covering. They got like sweatshirts and shit for this. Oh, yeah, it's a dude, big, it's a big, a big deal. Thing. Yeah, look at this, look at this picture, look at that Etsy picture there, Shane. That's just a girl getting like. They're gonna no they're, spoilers they're about to have because the second book is out, and Audrey's reading the second book currently. Katie loves. The she gave the first book a five out of five. She's reading the second one, I think. Yeah, her and Audra are in the same book club, and so Spicy. she's reading. I mean, it looks like in all these pictures, it looks like they're fighting, but it looks like they could be fucking too. Yep, so. it's a little bit of both. It's some cool My shit. My kind of book. They challenge. They channel the energy through their dragon if they're selected, and then to dragon sex or no? No. If they uh, have but, sex, does their dragon feel it too? If the dragon yes. has sex, yes. did they oh, feel it? Yes. I was, I was on the way out, but then I just yes. stopped at the door, and now I'm Say interested again. Say the dragon again. gets some. Do they feel that? Yes. 
They, no, so there is so, dragon sex, but they just they're not describing that. They're feeling. So say it. you yeah. were to do they get horned up when the dragons get? Do they fuck when dragons fuck? Are they all doing this at the same time? Are you, is this a gangbang? Are they, you watching the, are we, they what are if, feeling. What if you fuck your dragon? Do you get both sensations? I don't think that's permitted. Yeah, it's, you took it too fuck. far, Shane. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't. There's no coming. I'm back. gonna go write my own fan fiction <laughs> instead of reading this book. Um, no, there's there's a scene where she gets all horned up. Uh, it's. I mean, obviously, everyone having sex with everyone's fine. Obviously, everyone you, having sex with dragons not cool. Obviously, the, there's a dragon on the fucking book cover, and the whole thing is about it's either you get a dragon, or you don't, or you die trying to get a dragon. She's she, her one dragon gets all horned up, and she's like. She gets all horned up. Nice. Yeah. So it's so very is good. The main very good. Girl. Basgarth. Basgath. 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 No, college. that's that's their college. Yeah. So they're in a college. It's per se. It's a war school. Yeah. It's like a Hogwarts e vibe, but like Which sexier, is, and yeah. people die, and if you don't, there's if different you're quadrants. Because I'm in now. Uh, just legitimately. Fourth Wing Google Images. And you, you see everything you need to know. And the second book is Iron Flame. So second book is Iron Flame. So the sex stuff doesn't hit until like page like maybe 350. Give me, me an exact number, please. 300. <laughs> Which and, paragraph? And I'm reading this on the train and I'm like, why am I feeling things? <laughs> Who's reading on the train with only one hand? Yeah. And it's just like the one page, like the last word is just cock. And I'm like... Please nobody look over and like see what I'm reading, please. There was like, so you have to pull your pants up. Yeah, and it's just this. I'm no longer welcome on SEPTA. <laughs> but uh, I recommend that. That's kind of what I've been up to. We've been the conductor who's also like 30th Street Station, 30th Street Station, <laughs> sir. Your cock's out. 30th Street because it's SEPTA in Philly, so he's like just used to it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That is my morning train ride. So, uh, but no, that's just what we've been up to. Uh, but to segue into what we are here to talk about today is obviously uh, we're talking about films and it's that time of year and today is the best day as we live stream to you live on Christmas Day our film our Hallmark Christmas movie Never Been Chris So there's so many Hallmark movies before you even do anything else. There's that come out each year. There's, each year, yeah. So many. There's there's Hallmark movies that were in the commercials for this movie that I'd never seen. I know. And we fucked up. We, we might have picked the worst. We one. picked a bad. We might have picked movie the worst one because we that we, they've ever made. We picked based off a title. I and, disagree. I this isn't even the worst one we've done. I disagree with that. You think last year's the one about colorblindness was better than this? I forgot we watched it. That one was blind hilarious. Blind. This is our not. fourth year yeah, doing. Yeah, that I was we watched the That was hilarious. I, I, I was thinking of all the Full House girls ones. Yeah, that, I, yeah. The colorblind one was the, so bad that I wiped it from my memory. But main guy was hotter. He was hot. Yeah. I'd all right. I don't want to jump ahead too main much. Girl, not as main Chris. Guy. Chris being fake vegan is way funnier to me it's, than this guy dude. faking being able to see colors. <laughs> well, Chris, the fake vegans, we'll get into the fake vegans. Stuff. But you, they had the funniest scene where they were like painting something or something. She was like, "Here, use the blue one," and he's like, Ugh. And "Yeah, last year the the color blindness." So no, so the uh, I'll tell you our 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 process. Our Big very time optometrist. Yeah, <laughs> they're all kind of like the same beats. They're always big cheeses. Like that's just like what happened. Yeah, but um. Our, our process, our, our, you know, judicial branch it's process. Long, it's, a, yeah. it's a very it, long it, process. It basically starts in January. It does, and we've started vetting the films yeah. through our parents. Now, this year uh, <laughs> was a very long process of, I heard a podcast list the names, and I heard Never Been Chris, and I said, that's what we're doing. Well, it wasn't even that. You said, hey, there's a Hallmark movie called Never Been Chris, and all three of us agreed, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't <laughs> even like, hey, guys, I found the one. It yeah. was like, hey, this could be funny, and we were like, yes, absolutely. That's a dumb fucking name. Let's watch it. Um, um, no but, prep. We didn't, had no idea. I don't even think we had a backstory yet. Um, they talked about it, but it went out the one, one in, in one ear, out the other because I was already texting you guys, so I wasn't. Also, listening. because they're the story is it, it's doo doo. It's yeah. doo-doo. <laughs> dumpster water. What's dumpster. Uh, yes, what well, you might have brewing right now. Oh, it's coming out soon. I, Bob had chili for the first time today. It was the best chili I ever had. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> but that was our process. We heard the name of it, and so we're like, I'm like, do you guys want to bring it back? And they were like, yeah. So that, that's why we're here today. We're talking Never Been Chris. And to speak on our hot guy from the Candy Cane Company, he showed up with a commercial for another movie uh, about like the Santa's one of the holiday. Was he in Santa Summit? Was Santa Summit the one where they were like, what's she, what? They're on like a bar crawl. No, there was the one that was like, the commercial was like, uh, I found this guy and they're like, what's he look like? And they're like, I don't know. Because yeah. everybody's trying to Santa Summit. Santa Summit. It's like they're oh, doing a bar crawl all, just like Santa. Santa. That's. That aired last night. We can just wait a week and do that one instead. <laughs> that one looks, well, then it won't be Christmas Day. Who, that, wants, to, oh, who wants the live? That Sorry. one looked like I wanted to see that one. I'm not going to lie. I want to see that movie. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, but I saw that there was Christmas Island had our, our hot guy. Like Christmas Island is the one where they're on the flight and then they can't. Uh, oh, he did look familiar. That's what he's from. So he was from the, the candy yeah. cane. He was our they candy cane like, boy. La- they have to like land a plane. Well, there was the not, one. They're like, you can't get off for a week. And he's like, I love Christmas. This whole island's fucking Christmas. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, that last that was from year, her 35 second commercial that I'd seen eight times. And then the one last year he kept on was about like holiday travel. And the guy, you remember like the guy kept like dropping his suitcase I mean, yeah, or something? You remember that? Yes. Um, and where I was like, we're doing that one next year. And all right. it, it all, time but um, uh, we're here to talk. Official TV timeout. We got a timeout on the field. <laughs> yeah. All right, back from our timeout. Uh, so we are here today to talk about. The Hallmark movie, Never Been Chris. We put you through our validation process, and we picked this movie very on a whim that has a 17% on Rotten Tomatoes that I didn't realize until now that it even had that, and a 5.5 out of 10 on IMDb. So, what year was this? Do you remember? Do you this is, like it's a, new. This is new. Is it this year? This is it 2023? Yeah. Okay. It, what uh, ratings did both of your dads yes, give it, though? It came I, out. I didn't ask my dad. I'm sure he's seen it. My mom, I think my mom said she was watching some of it uh, before. So the plot of the film is, um, this. I'll just read the synopsis. Home for the holidays, BFFs Naomi and Liz reconnect with high school crush Chris Silver. A complex love triangle forms, forcing them to take stock of their relationship and find the value of friendship. This is not a Christmas movie. It's a cr- movie with a Christmas backdrop. No, it has nothing. It to happens do. during Christmas. Also, ninety has... percent of it is centered around Hanukkah. Yes, which I was like, okay. My a, note is a bit and on I mean the this nose. In the nicest way, Hanukkah. What are we doing, Bob? It's <laughs> Hanukkah. Ha. Yeah, they <laughs> really crush it. That was really I, bothering me. How and I don't mean this that. as an, a, a somebody who is like oblivious to shit. I've always heard it. I've have heard it pronounced. I guess. Hanukkah, but I usually hear somebody just say Hanukkah. I don't. I have hear Jewish that. friends that say Hanukkah. The fact that she was going Hanukkah the Dude, whole time, was like, I, yeah, it, like it was she, like she cleared her throat every time she said. This. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like to imagine that nobody told her to do that. But she also, just took know, it upon herself. Her entire family in the film did it. Yeah, like so, it was like the director was clearly like, "Hey, this is how you say Hanukkah." Don't so fuck this up. So there's a, it's funny there's a part in the movie uh, this movie stinks by the way but there's a part in the movie where they're like explaining what Hanukkah is and I'm like I see what you guys are doing this is a Christmas channel that you guys are like there's other holidays yeah. and this is what Hanukkah, Hanukkah is well it's another angle but for like, them Naomi's to make movies mom was into Christmas in a big way she was she was big time also, uh, a little bit too are much. Are we just diving right in? How do you want to handle this? So we're we gonna like run through the, the 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 synopsis. Well, so the movie starts off with them at the their house. The thing opens up so much. Yeah, that's that's down down okay, the line. All right. Um, so the movie starts out. I watched this last night at Christmas Eve. This is how I spent my Christmas Eve uh, <laughs> watching this film because we're live streaming. Um, on Christmas Day. On Merry Christmas, Christmas Day. To you and your Merry Christmas to all of you. And uh, I hope you guys had a nice Hanukkah. I, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed your Hanukkah. It unfortunately ended a few days. I hope I don't get ago. canceled for the, the, the pronunciation of Hanukkah. I think you're trying to... I'm, I'm replicating the movie. And if that's the correct way to do it, then I am incorrect. I am, I am correct. <laughs> Not incorrect. But... Uh, that's how the film pronounces it. Yes. And we're referencing that's the how film. how Liz pronounces it. Which I didn't know their names until halfway through the movie. My, my notes we, were blonde hair and brown right, hair. We were, calling my, them, we were calling them red and green. My first two notes. <laughs> well, who was who? They probably wore it. In Wait, one hold on. One I have red, a... Red, one more green. Green was Liz. Red was uh, Naomi. My, okay. f- my first two notes. I took a lot early on. Yeah. Love a montage. Start the film off. Yes. My first note. One minute, two seconds in, I hate this already. That's the first <laughs> thing that I read. Because I did not like it immediately. I was yeah. like, I don't want to watch this. 
Well, the, the montage probably is what did that for me. So when you watch a Hallmark movie, like we watch a lot of movies, like uh, the three of us, like we just on our own time when we go to the theaters, and the movies, like when a Hallmark movie starts, it just visually looks like dog shit. Mm-hmm. Like it's filmed you, you, with a home camera, like a, a di- new digital camera. Like it's you like just, need to give yourself fifteen. 20. I think that's why they set the commercials up the way they do, because you need to just like bear down for 15 20 minutes to be yeah. like all right i can get through this you now. need to ground yourself in yeah, that reality if they yeah. gave me a commercial in the first five minutes i was texting you guys and being like i'm out yeah like <laughs> I, that is a good point because like you they, they don't allow you to take a that, break that first commercial break happens like 35 minutes yeah. into the movie it seems <laughs> need, like and then there's one every three minutes for the yeah. rest of the film you need to ease yourself into <laughs> seeing the obviously fake snow once they get back home that's my favorite there's so <laughs> much so there's, bad. there's so many like classic there's also... hallmark tropes that happened in this film that i was like really now that this is number four happy that we could like so point out reference yeah my very first note i made was prediction for the rest of the movie because they they were wearing red and green sweaters and like usually the hallmark movies it's like one of them wears green one of them wears red and then they end up together i was like they're gonna be lesbians uh... and i said it to katie i was like I'm calling it right now. They're going to realize that this guy sucks and they're going to be lesbians. Little and she did. was like, it's a Hallmark movie. They don't do that. So, Little did you know that there was a blue and white Hanukkah aspect that was not being played in yet? So that's well, like... My a- second note is Naomi Dark Hair, Liz Blonde Hair. That's what I was getting Okay. At. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I immediately... I got names and I was like, how can I separate these two? I just didn't. So it's funny. A lot of the Letterboxd reviews are just like, these girls are lesbians. Like Hallmark should have yeah. just went full send. There's, more, said, there's was- more chemistry between them two. Did than- you rate this on Letterboxd? Yeah, I did. Half a star? No, I gave it a full star. <laughs> the movie last year got a half a star, but in, out of principle, a Hallmark film will never receive more than a star. So this I is did a, not because I didn't even think about it till just now. I was like literally two minutes ago in my head. I was like, I wonder if this is on Letterboxd. I will say I I, I changed my four favorites up uh, last night, and I thought about putting it in there for just the as holiday a, as a joke. As, as a, a holiday for yeah, as a goof. And I tagged previously recorded in my review, and I put the link to the, the show. Nice, we're in. Uh, so we're so good. But I, a ton of people reviewed this. There's like 20, 29,000 reviews of this film I on Letterboxd. I, I, think I that can't wait to You read. need to get on Letterboxd. I can't wait to see. I'm on. I just haven't reviewed anything yet. I forget <laughs> to do it. I gotta, like, <laughs> this I, be my first movie I review. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Stars. yes. I, I love this film. <laughs> this is why I love Christmas What can series. I say besides... Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Liz and Naomi, friendship goals. Uh, so these two best friends are uh, have been best. I thought they were sisters at first, but they're best friends. Besties. And they started an app called Best Best Pals. Best, best Pals. And best Pal. Best Pal. Yeah, best Pal. Correct it later in the movie. Um, and I downloaded Letterbox. I don't think I ever signed in. <laughs> okay. So um, I can't do this right now. All right. Well, yeah, this isn't invigorating for the listener to hear you create your Letterbox account. His, uh, but his, your, what's your, listen- your account name is going to be uh, Noel Lover 12, like the guy on the dating app that no. Naomi wanted to match. No. I was like, are you no. fucking kidding me? No, it should be uh, Shane's Feet Picks. Or <laughs> yeah, for, I had to promote my brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Shane's Feet with uh, Shane's feet threes with three instead of E's. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so Naomi's looking for love from the beginning of the movie. Um, well, before that, you don't even know that, though. But she she mm. starts off on the dating app. You don't know that until they get to home. But she's on the dating app. And Liz just seems like a strong, powerful woman who don't need no man. And her favorite Christmas movie is A Wonderful Life, which it's is playing in the background. Okay. And she doesn't understand the point of that movie. Yeah. But she understands the point of The Great Gatsby. Which but she doesn't. Exactly. So she, she also doesn't. But Chris she has dumb? to explain that to her. Is she dumb? This is she is Jay Gatsby. Oh. Uh, that's the whole bit. Gatsby. Spe- yeah. What Gatsby? What Gatsby? So spoiler alert. Like that's my fucking what the fuck moment in this movie is that this is just a shitty whatever Western Illinois or wherever the fuck town they're from version which is probably where james gatz is like essentially from like <laughs> instead of him going small to, town usa yeah instead of him going to long island she goes home but like this is her gatsby where she's trying to recreate relive the past. maybe that's why she which one was wearing green she was Liz oh on? my god Liz. she's gatsby she's Dude, gatsby it's literally they were like we could turn gatsby into a christmas movie like the more you go back it's and not. look at it it's so bad it's not a christmas movie no it's not a christmas i will movie stand by this all. there was nothing in this, this movie is that Christmassy was see as uh 
Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> yeah, just a scene. Yeah. I'm okay with a Christmas movie um, not being, but still... They decorated like, gingerbread houses. Yes, they did in a vegan shop. We'll get to which that. We'll get to that. <laughs> but they... they uh, I'm okay with a Christmas movie not being like a Christmas movie, as long as it drives home at one point like the meaning of the holiday. Which um, I guess it did for Hanukkah... I'd be okay with it, but he's, they said vegan more times than they said Christmas. In That's the true. They really were I, I, <laughs> really like, drilling it in there somewhere. Wow. Because everywhere they go, he'd be like, this is a vegan place. Yeah. And, and point, I was like, this restaurant, this small town USA has more fucking at, vegan restaurants. <laughs> at one point, I, my note is, what is with this town and vegan places? Like, how many <laughs> vegans do you Well, have? clearly, he, we'll, we'll get to it. That's a big spoiler. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't do that. So... The girls decide to go home, and so they're in, they're in the one girl's apartment. She's like, I'm going to go home. I'll text you when I get there. She lives right next door. Boom. Wow. These people are best friends. As she leaves, I'm going to pick this apart for a second. That's when I made the note. They're going to be lesbians. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna together. As she leaves, the one gives her like a, um, maybe I'll find love. You can find love no matter where you're looking or some dumb shit like that. And uh, her response was, oh, aspirational. Which is not how you use that word. Aspirational means you aspire to be something or someone. So she's dumb. The writers are dumb. Yeah. You open well, with the fucking misuse well, of a verb. We do this. Like, we do this. That's fair. But I was like, you can't hit me with asp. I didn't even like aspirational is a word. Yeah. But nobody fucking says as. Oh, that's aspirational. That makes me want to be like this other thing. Like, nobody <laughs> says that. Um. So yeah, they go that. So now they're going back home for the holidays. Before they go home, again, this is the part I liked. What? They go for a meeting to try and get money for best pals. They're trying to get like, oh, yeah. funding. And the woman's... I, I quote word for word, I wrote down what she said because I laughed out loud. They were like, hey, we're looking for this whatever funding. They kept calling it. There's like a certain name for it. Like a, um, but like, yeah. they had their name. Like, oh, um, a level three seed, funding seed or something. Bundy. Yeah, it's like seed money. Yeah. Yeah, but like they, they kept because they kept referring to it like it was, it was a real thing. And the woman from the company was, said, "Times are tough, and this is a risky pivot. Let's circle back in the new year." <laughs> I was like, "Wow, they just fucking laid out all the offer jargon they uh-huh, could yep, in yes, one they sentence. Like, risky pivot. Let's circle back. Let's put a pin in this and circle back." And and I was really hoping they were going to go back to that lady because I love bad office jargon. But, but she didn't. Never showed up again. But she mentioned, "Oh." How is it to be, you know, you work for your boss? And they're like, we're co-owners. Yeah. And I was like, immediately, here's our struggle. Yeah. Like they're yeah, I wrote down foreshadowing. Except I wrote, um, oh, foreshadow, green built the app, but red is the employee. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is going to be big later. Yeah, so. Big if true. <laughs> so they go, big if true. So if they, they go, okay, we're going to go home now. And they're lugging these clunky ass uh, suitcases around. Like they've never had a suitcase before. They're not that big. No, there's nothing in them. They're fake. <laughs> I know that. But the amount of outfits that they wore when they were in their town for a week, to be able to pack that in the tiny suitcases that they had, yeah, I was thrown off a little bit. You know. Also, before they even get home, they, one of them is like, oh, well, maybe we'll see Chris Silver, who is the Chris of Never Been Chris. And she was like, oh, I don't know. And she's like, Well, maybe that'll always be a silver lining. And I'm consi- I'm convinced that they named this dude Chris Silver just so that they could make that so, joke. Probably. Like he could have been like Chris Jacobson. <laughs> but then they're like, Well, but then we can't make the silver lining joke. So we got we got to make it silver. <laughs> well, silver and gold, probably too, because it's a Christmas movie. Yeah, but it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's a Hanukkah movie. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just. So this is where my problem with the film starts. It's not from after hitting play. It's she brings up Chris Silver and she's like, oh, you know. We both wanted to fuck him essentially. But she, I didn't think Liz said that, the blonde. From from what I was half paying attention to. She, she, <laughs> <laughs> That's the best perfect way of describing it. Yeah. <laughs> From what I like, kind of was acknowledging. It didn't seem like that was the case. It did. It seemed While like... I was crocheting a, a stocking because anything was better than watching this movie. Oh, it, uh, it had me because like, it was fifteen they, minutes of commercial yeah, free. She she said that the, she had a crush on him too. I, uh, okay, so I missed that. I like they both acknowledged when they were at the airport that like both of them would have liked to have. Okay. 
hooked up with him. I thought it was only uh, well, that only really said, because he was like the super popular kid. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, said yeah. that's why they had that saying: "The never been Chris." Because once which, you were Chris, you got like well, Shane, popular. What happens when you get Chris? You make it in life, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's show business. No, but as Bob was saying, if they used to say, you had to be there. That's the big thing in all these fucking... Everything that she says is, oh, you just had to be there. Yeah. You just had to be this there. Movie, it's like... This movie would have been so much better if they just ended up together. It would have been. <laughs> like... Because like the one... Lesbian. Instead of with this boring ass dude. Yeah. yeah just dude, Chris is kind of hot. I, Chris is hot. Chris is kind of hot. He's like, a, he's like a Hallmark 5. He's a knockoff Pedro Pesci. Now, he's, no, he's, they, a, he's now, a Hallmark like, 5. Uh, where, where is my nude? I don't know what, what what happened when they got to the bar, but I think I want to fuck Chris. With mine <laughs> when they get to the bar, he's got like the jacket on. He wants to buy him a beer. I'm like, this guy is pretty hot. He is See, pretty hot. A lot of my notes were about how he's not good looking. Also, he's oh. an English teacher, and so they are historically not attractive. <laughs> so you're aspirational? <laughs> yeah, he's an, he was aspirational for me. RP cut this. Some might say they're ghoulish. <laughs> no, <it> okay. <laughs> Some of my notes about this I guy. I got a ghoul mode from time to time. <laughs> I've been known to ghoul myself. <laughs> Some of my notes about this guy. Aren't Hallmark guys usually better looking? Um, I refer to him a couple times as not hot guy, but how he's talking out of the side of his mouth, Shane, which you pissed are me off. very against... Did not like this guy. You do not think this man is attractive. Like he's a vegan. I don't like him. Yeah, uh, that's what it was. Also, what he is- talks out of the side of his mouth. It was, it was bothering me the whole movie. Well, he's in the military. That's what they all do. Oh, how many times... Did he mention he was a vegan more or a marine more? A vegan. I don't know. It might have been tied. I think it was a vegan. It's like, well, you know, I'm, I'm a de- my dad was a decorated marine, and so I, I was just a regular boring marine. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't say that. That's it. And now he didn't know what he wanted to do, so he, or you know, he he wanted to come back. He didn't know what he was going to be, so he became a marine, and now he's back teaching at the school to help contribute to the town. Dude, absolutely wild course of events, though. Like as a teacher, mm-hmm. if someone was like. Because there are like former like I work with vets, but like as somebody who's like, can they say he was deployed like three times? He yeah. said three tours, like yeah. active tours, and like young to immediate be like, oh, I'm done in the military. English teacher seems like just <laughs> such a wild transition uh-huh. for anyone. Well, as as somebody who comes from a home where my father served, uh, I understand. <laughs> Stolen Valor. Stolen Valor. So, so uh, quick, He's, quick segue. I, I, I have to tell this because I don't think I told this on here. Mm-mm. No. That no. so my sister had a St. Patty's Day because party. We have we've only recorded a few times since St. Patty's Day. Yeah, and it was Mission Impossible up. stuff. So we were at my sister's house for a Halloween for a St. Patty's Day party, and my dad shows up in this green shirt that says, "Kiss me, I'm." A vet. A, a veteran in black. In, in The shirt's black and green bold letters. Mm. And then it's like squared around the veteran. And it says, or Irish or drunk. And it's literally got a giant shamrock with army tags in it. And I'm like, Dad, what? why are you wearing this? And he's like, what are you talking about? It says, or Irish. And, and he points to the small writing. It's like the, it was, the fine it was, print. He thought the shirt was giving him choices. Yeah. Like, and I, oh, <laughs> these are all the things you yeah, could Yeah, it's like circle I'm, circle yeah. here. So I was like, Do Dad, is that... you want to go ex- out with me, check yes or no. I was like, Dad, that explains why he got the free beer at the at the store. And, every, <laughs> and uh, he was just like... he's. He bought it as a. Uh, it was at a fundraiser. He was so very he, defensive about himself too. He's like, "No, like, this is how my dad gets." But there's a dumb story about my dad mispronounced a restaurant. It was this place called Pals, and he kept calling it Pauls. And Bill and Julianne frequent this restaurant. And like we yeah, straight up, exactly where it we is, straight yeah. up asked the server, "It's Pals, right?" And she's like, "Yeah, it's Pals." And his response was, "Well, I worked with somebody whose name was that," and we're like, "Pals," and he's like. Well, no, they just pronounced it Pauls, and I was like, "You worked with somebody named Pauls?" Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Or Pals? It was it was something stupid like that, and um, but anyway, so that's the stolen valor joke within my uh, within yeah. our friends group because he he didn't even realize it. He did not, and my mom's like, "No, he bought me one too, but you don't see me wearing it." <laughs> my mom's like, "Not even give him the heads up." But um, so they run into Chris at a bakery. And I actually like this in terms of formatting and not being boring. The yearbook pop, where it like showed that Chris like most likely to be yeah, successful, that was, that and was, I was like, this is actually original for Hallmark, <laughs> not for a movie, but for Hallmark. 
it was funny. Katie had a funny note. Every time they would show pictures of them from high school, she'd be like, that looks nothing like them. Oh, yeah. It was very <laughs> clearly like, different people. Why couldn't they just ask them for pictures of them for when they were in high yeah, school? Yeah, like his yearbook hockey picture is nothing like him. Is like a white dude. And, and Chris is like, has like a little bit of like Spanish to him. Nothing or like them. Also, in classic Hallmark movie fashion, the homes that they live in oh my God. are fucking gorgeous. gigantic. They are ginormous and gorgeous. Like and last year, uh, the dude, the, the, the teacher, that couldn't see he lived in this fucking like it, this beautiful house yeah. and then this time uh, i don't think they showed chris's house from the outside but also no. gigantic on the inside yeah absolutely and it's like and uh, then uh liz and naomi's Liz's family parents. too i uh, know well, her mom lives in legitimately a mansion naomi's yeah. mom lives by herself and it's gigantic yeah but she's gonna sell she hasn't been home for six years or yeah. for christmas which i don't know they don't explain where she's been no they said that they were they took her mom to hawaii each time? Yeah, Naomi's mom. They said the last oh. five years they took her mom to Hawaii. Oh. And that's where they would spend Christmas. Half paying attention. Yeah. I was full paying attention. I, I know you were. This is your time to shine. <laughs> I hate RP. these movies so much. Yeah, no, I said the same thing, like walking up. Like they always have like these ridiculous decorations. They always have the walk up scenes too, where the they like, walk seven... up to the door like fresh prints and it's like what is this happening? Exactly. And there's like seven fake Christmas trees out front. Like this is all the the standard cookie yeah. cutter uh, Hallmark crap. This is family. Also, like not that uh, Jewish people don't necessarily decorate for Hanukkah, but they go all out for Hanukkah. They yeah. had like decorations fucking everywhere too, which uh-huh. was pretty wild. I'm telling you, they're trying to break into the the, the Hanukkah film what market. What is next year? It's like it's, it's, ha- separate, it's like Hallmark Hanukkah, separate, <laughs> separate channel. Yeah, your yeah. dads would love it. They would. They would love it. Yeah. My, if my they parents. busted that out in July, my dad would be like, hey, "Is this a new thing?" <laughs> <laughs> What's this holiday? Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you watching? That? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Mash just ended. I swear. <laughs> Dad, it says you haven't changed the channel in sixteen nah, yeah. hours. Yeah, he, he doesn't fight it. He used to. He doesn't fight it anymore. <laughs> He'd be a like, Hallmark movie. My mom went to the Hallmark convention, like the Hallmark Christmas Con or whatever. She legit did. She loves it. It's I'm like you're insane. Well, yeah, that's fitting though. But uh, they walk into Naomi's mom's house, and she's like, we're going to do this, 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 and this. And she says, we're going to go caroling. And I hate when people say that, because nobody goes caroling. No, that doesn't exist. Yeah, but also, we all grew up in Philly. Like, I feel like if you grew up in this tiny little town, maybe they do. Maybe there are people that just kind of walk around and sing Christmas carols and be like, oh, that's fun. Paul, I guess if you have gone caroling or been caroling or know somebody that's done caroling, DM me, and I will send you 100 bucks. I, <laughs> I guess that does make sense. Like... You go caroling. Only, only about today. Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> if you go Monopoly money. It's Monopoly money. <laughs> if you go knocking on strangers' doors in Philly, you're pretty likely to get shot. Yeah, you don't do it in Philly. But like, <laughs> if you, I, I bet Audra knows somebody who's gone caroling at some point in her life. Audra! <laughs> Come here. All right. Yeah, hold on. We'll get her on the line. I'm calling her. She better not get up here in time. She really has nothing going on down there. That she's running up the stairs. She loves, a, she loves attention. Keep all this in. All right, Audra, uh, Audra, friend of the show, has arrived in the room. Hello, hi. <laughs> friend of the show. <laughs> Go ahead, RP. Yeah, you can ask. I was just. No, I wanted ask. to make sure we were. Pre- have you know? Have, do you know, or have you ever been, or have you ever known anyone who has actually legitimately gone caroling? I am one of those people who have legitimately gone no. caroling. No. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. In what context? <laughs> oh, my like, God. Like, like, to random strangers' houses. Like, went just, around like knock on the door Christmas and start singing like songs. around a neighborhood. Well, does it count that it was oh a retirement home for old people? No. Be- no. 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 Not in, in, inside, like, oh. a, center, like a, a thing? I mean, y- Like, in yes. a building? Or, yes. like, in, like, a community? Yes, correct. Okay. Never, never strangers. Okay. That's absurd. I, I said, I feel like maybe in like small towns where people know each other, it might be small something towns, that exists. Because I'm from, I'm from Lancaster. You're from a smaller town than oh Philadelphia. So I said, I, and I said, a, friend, a friendlier town. I said, I bet Audra would know someone. Or I said, Audra might know someone who maybe has done this before. Um, I can say no, and I never have, and I, I never would because that's f- fucking weird. Well, language, please. Yeah. Being, oh, oh, sorry. It's PG. PG. It's the oh. Christmas episode. Being from Lancaster, um, though. Freaking lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being Quick from lights. Lancaster, you knock on someone's door and you sing about some magic guy who brings you presents. They might burn you for being a witch. Actually, true. I mean, the Amish. Tituba. Tituba. 
I dropped that. I dropped yeah, that yeah, uh, yeah. reference at the Phillies game to Bob, and uh, I think I broke him for like when a half second. That? It was a it was a playoff game. Uh, yeah, yeah, LCS. Yeah, because yeah, you. We were talking something. You were like something with a. That's all we needed. Thank you. Am I, am I done? I done you, yeah. We were talking about like witchcraft or something, and I was like, Tichuba, Tichuba, Jevadai, get the torch. Ezekiel. All right, so. Okay. So, All right. Well, yeah, but that was sketchy for a second. You were, you were, you were afraid. Uh, I was mad. I, I bet we can find somebody. <laughs> I'm sure. DM me for a hundred dollars today only. Only um, out on Christmas. And timestamp it right now. Forty two twenty two. Which will probably be different when we cut it, but uh, whatever timestamp it is. Hit pause. Um, so now we're at the point where you guys brought up earlier. They do go to the bar. They run into Chris. Chris is like just like openly. I want to hang out with both of you. And he, like, for, he he was really heavy trying to get this threesome together for the longest time. Yeah, like and he was, I was just like, openly dick swinging. Like, yeah. I was like, all right, maybe this guy is just super friendly, and I gave him the benefit of the doubt for a little bit. And I think uh, he made it very clear he does not care about either one of them. He just wanted to fuck one of them. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying We're to both figure out them. where it was. If I can go, if I can look at it, it might be. It might have been when they were making the gingerbread houses. Yeah, where, where they were I, like yeah. rotating, they, they, they were, were like rotating. In and out. Yeah, and I was, I my when, note genuinely is so he's really trying to bang that's, them both. Like, that's together. when I wrote it too. I yeah. said yeah. he really is just going both. straight forward, Dick yeah. Swing. Which I need to talk about the gingerbread houses. Liz drops a bunch of shit on the ground, picks it all back up, and puts it back in the cup. I'm mean, not like, eating too, it. Uh, well, right. then you don't uh, you eat gingerbread houses when you make a them. bunch of my notes. Become, I don't know. I don't eat my gingerbread house when I make it. It's all like it's you're stale. Just, you're just wasting all the gingerbread. Yeah, I throw it out I mean, when you I'm eat done. Stuff while you're making it, like you pick at stuff. No, I've never. I, to oh, be fair, you make the sets too. Right? To be fair, I've made it twice. I've made two houses. And you got it's like the pre-made set, yes. right? Because like if I've done that, but then I've also done it where it's like big pieces of just gingerbread, and, and you, you can cut? like break it down and like make. Oh, a house that's out different. Of that. So okay. then like you're like, is that what you mean, Shane, or do you mean like, do you mean eating like a kit? No, like, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I've, we, I, I've. Maybe like little gingerbread houses, and then you just eat them when you're done. Like I'm not gonna waste it. Well, we leave it like on display. Maybe that's why. Make it dusty. I would rather eat it. I would rather eat it. I just spent like twenty five dollars on the. Yeah, exactly. Okay, sorry. But if no, you, he's... it's not. It's not weird. It's not weird. I'm just not used to it. I'll but he's that. he's definitely trying to pull some kind of threesome with the two of them. Yeah. Like that's his whole plan this whole time. Yeah. Also, around the gingerbread scene is there's a couple things that happen. One, the dude Ryan, who's like the party guy, the, the fat guy. I hate yeah, that guy. he was that so guy. annoying. Yeah, no, Ryan I hate rocks. That guy. <laughs> because he was like the. That's why he rocked because he was like <clears> that dude that like. I prefer in a, in a Hallmark movie. They're like he's the is, crazy this guy. This is what cool guys do. Yeah, and yeah. And I was like, yeah. I like, I like the other guy, the party yeah. guy who like who like the, you never found out why he was called like the party guy because every time that he came in, they would like cut it off. Yeah, um, and <laughs> he then basically we, was like a, the Tim Robinson sketch yeah. in my head, where it's just like <laughs> I gotta go home. Man, you always do this. <laughs> then we also had the popular cheerleader yeah. who. Looked I think it had like six a, lines. Yeah, she also like looked like she was supposed to be like evil. She was like, "I'm from Chicago." Yeah, it was really a strange. I was like, "What uh, the dynamic. hell?" She stinks. And then the girl, <laughs> but also when they were in the bar, the yeah, the other popular girl with the Snow Queen or whatever yes, it's called. She cheated. The they're wearing their jackets in the bar because they wore matching sweaters. They wore the joke. matching sweaters, which goes back well, to the girl plot that said she meet. had to wear hers. And then Liz wore the other one because she knew that Naomi was going to have to wear hers because her mom was going to like force her to wear. Always it. knowing she was, like, she's her best friend and like all that kind. Everybody of Everybody in that but bar she... was very insistent on them taking their jackets. Exactly. Off too. So that's my point. He's like, "Don't you want to? It's warm in here. Don't you want to take your go. jacket off?" And like they look like they're not even sweating. So I'm like, I <laughs> don't understand. They could have played this up as a joke. They look perfectly comfortable. They as soon like as everybody made them left, sweat a lot. That's what I said. Yeah. That when you, everybody left, you could have played it up as a joke. You could have just gone. Oh, uh, my mom really likes these sweaters. But like, oh, it's such a stupid joke. But it was oh. around this point in time. Uh, I don't know the. It was after the Santa Summit, so after a commercial break, because I have a note for Santa Summit, which I want to watch. We're doing Santa Summit next year, right? They had another. We're fake, doing a double feature. They put another fake Christmas song in. Did they really? I was just gonna say that fake Christmas song. I put um. No. Made up, unlicensed Hallmark Christmas song. They had. The, it's like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna play in the snow. Like, and yeah, there's <laughs> that, so and then and there's one there. And there, I think there was multiple. There's another one. 
So I'll list both of the ones that I caught now, right? Uh, the first one, the line is, I want to dance with Father Christmas, shooby doo wop <laughs> <laughs> We should make one. And then the second <laughs> one, which comes later, I think it's the I want to play in the snow yeah. one. Was that the dance at okay. the very end of the movie? And it's like shaking my world like a snow globe. Suddenly everything's so cold. <laughs> That's kind of that's like bars. there's multiple kinda bars, like though. is that a hallmark thing that they make their own I guess song? so they well, they shit so yeah. many movies out like then you don't have to pay for the rights to other songs like clearly but they're hallmark's, spending do they put these out there they should fucking make some money off of this they bitch. should I want to listen I want to dance with Father Christmas too should we do wow <laughs> Well, th- this movie was clearly made over the course of a weekend. Like it, it, it wasn't like, <laughs> like six a, sets. They rent they they rented one house and just shot in different parts They're in the all, backyard. At the dance, they all wear dresses that they just had. Yeah, like you got something at home, right? You got something you can put together. <laughs> you can. I've been told. I've been listening to podcasts. For, it's mainly if you are a actor and you bring your own clothes you can get paid more because you're wearing your clothes to get dry clean and they pay for it to get dry clean in the hallmark movies no, no in just general, acting in general just in films i've learned that um so maybe, he maybe wants that's why they had so many outfits because they wanted them all dry clean for free so yeah, he wants to so he wants to see both of them so badly which it seems <laughs> like they weren't even friends in high school at all, it just seems like she kind of just had a crush on him. Think, no, they were Na- very clearly like losers. Naomi in high school, makes right? also yeah. like, acknowledges like, "Hey, you didn't even know who I was." But it. he's like so intent. It's like clearly he knows they got them money. Oh yeah, no, but he, that's she was like, "You didn't even know who I was in high school." He was like, "Oh yeah, of course I did." He was like, you, I, were, I, "You always knew who you were." Some stupid. You were like the that. one that like, you, no, I, 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 to whenever you walked fuck. through, you yeah. blush. Yeah, he's like just he's like looking at yeah. her like. Does that work? Like he's, he's like, like, yeah. He's like, you were, you had two eyes. You, uh, <laughs> you uh, wore a red sweater sometimes. And she was like, fuck yes, yeah. I did. God, Gatsby. Yeah. Jesus, God, I'm so warm Chris Silver. Yeah. So what Silver? For you. I always get a mop. I hate how he always talks about himself in the third person too. Yeah, that was bad. He's like, oh, you know, the girls like liked rem- me, and you know, I was Chris Silver. I was yeah, like, I was like, you're I a fucking, fucking douchebag. Um, he rocks. So. <laughs> So also we don't mention so there's the strife at home with Naomi's mom or she her mom wants to be closer and now there's the strife with uh, Liz her stepdad Liz is yeah Liz and her mom, mom married and she's not happy with Liz's her mom absolutely her. hates her and her stepdad is my favorite guy in this whole that movie. guy he was, he was fun. He, what was his name do you remember Travis Travis he rocks. He just wanted to be, he and then does. like he'd walk in and they'd be fighting, and he would just like walk out, yeah. or or like just try to like the one scene. It was like really awkward. They're brisket. arguing, and he's like, "Hey, look, there's brisket." Yeah. <laughs> I love Travis in a in a house where they made the dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Travis um, rocks. So here we find out that Liz's sister got into Stanford. Uh, Everyone's super happy for her, and Liz is like whatever, acting like she didn't get in. To Stanford, well, Liz which... didn't get into Stanford at this point in time, and so she went to Iowa State with Naomi. Yeah, because Naomi had just lost her dad. I'm just going to jump a little bit ahead because yeah. Na- nobody cares. But Naomi then they checked the box, and Liz did. And Liz, get into Liz get into Stanford, but didn't go because Naomi had just lost her dad. And it just you're starting to find out now as, um, well, Chris takes them both on another date. They go ice skating. And here's when I genuinely when, left. I had a note, because at one point I was getting concerned <clears throat> when they went ice skating. I was like, thank God. Because I feel like they do it in every Hallmark movie. And I like was getting concerned. You were worried they weren't going to ice skate. They weren't going to ice skate. Oh, yeah. They actually did. And they did. I don't know why. Chase is falling off of this. He just rolls over there. and All you right, just got to hold okay, him. okay, buddy. So this is the one scene that I laughed <laughs> genuinely like four or five times during this movie. The first time, this was the first time where Liz and Chris decided to go skate. Blonde and Chris. And she like daydreams. And I'm like, why? I I literally have a note of, oh no, the slow, we're jump, we jump past the, we'll have to go back to the party because there's a party before the ice Chris has a party. The Gatsby stuff. They're popular again. He talks about how he likes the great Gatsby. It's nothing crazy. Uh, it's he, he likes the theme, oh, this idea that like you oh, can't. Oh, that's my favorite book. Like a very generic. You can't high school relive book. the past, right? You can't recreate the past. Like it's in the past. You have to kind of like move. So on. I said she was impressed that he had the Great Gatsby, and my note was, man, he must have been fucking stupid in high school. She was so impressed <laughs> yeah. that he had this 
It's, it's like book that every super school famous every four, to their kids. yeah every fourteen year old boy owns the Great Gatsby. Um, so this actually this is the scene where I genuinely laughed. So they get to the party and Naomi, Naomi goes here, hide the coats, or take the coats, put the coats away, and Liz just hucks them like hucks them, hucks them, <laughs> and into it's the other room. very funny. Like <laughs> this is, however, the scene where I was like, Liz is kind of hot, and she walks out in her white uh, like skirt outfit. Okay, so uh, around this time. So I have Ryan Rocks, which is no. So Fake Christmas Song is probably the party. It's a gingerbread yeah, scene. My note that, is I'm a Liz guy myself. Dot. Period. Uh, I think I am too. I became a Liz guy about halfway through the movie. Uh, then, but no surprise, a blonde. I know. Come on, Bob. I, I, I kept switching back and forth. I was like Liz, Me no, too. Naomi, Naomi's yeah, so, mom. So, <laughs> ice, skate, ice skating scene. And Chris, Naomi's mom gets it. Yeah. Oh. Ice skating scene. Now the bar. Scene You've been pissed. a straight Chris h- hater, Shane. You cannot. Ice skating guy. scene happens. I'm like, all right. I, I, either way, right? Then they. I think they go to another vegan restaurant at some point. Yeah. And that's where like Liz and Naomi start to like fight, and they're mm-hmm. like, we're moving in different directions because Naomi's kind of falling for Chris, and uh, Liz is like, we got to figure out what's going on with our business. And uh, Liz, Liz goes, you barely know this man. And I said, damn, Liz is a bitch. I knew I loved her. <laughs> so yeah. So that, well, I was I, like. She actually um, says things that like they usually don't say in yeah. like Hallmark. She says things that things make to sense. Hurt Naomi. Yeah, like, she, she does. says things to her, and that's why people say they should have been lesbians. To be fair, she makes a lot of good points because one of my notes is that they've been on three dates, and Chris is talking about getting married to Naomi. So, so yeah, they've been on their but third I mean, date, and he as... was trying to talk her out of health insurance. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need it. So here. Is where we find out that um, we're just going to kind of sum do you up. Think that this is an anti-Jewish movie because they made Liz so mean. I do not because I don't think no, she's but that Liz mean. Liz is the voice of reason, so Liz I think is this the is voice a pro-Jewish movie. All right, Stern I'm just Buffet. trying to get Hallmark in some hot water. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The bake shop that they mentioned was called uh, uh, Pretty Baked, and yes. I was like, "That's a fun, that's fun a fun title. little pun." I, my next I, the never have I ever with inviting everybody to play and yeah. there was only five people. Yep. Also, the never have I ever cookies. with eating yeah. cookies like yeah. Chris and Naomi flirting at the party actually got a smile out of me. That was a note I had. I don't know what this. What they the were. Was. It was after the the book thing, and they like go back. He's like, "Yo, you had a crush on me, I guess." Yeah, he was just. Super, he mentioned like, that a lot. That's too. when he talks about how like she yeah, she used to be like she used to she used to blush. Yeah, he would he would switch from from girl to girl too. He'd be like he'd be like ice skating with one, and then she'd be like, oh, "I'm gonna take a break," and he'd be like, "Hey, so that crush, huh?" Yeah. So, He's a scumbag. I just have a note that says "Daddy gone," and I know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Liz's maybe? I like maybe. You, I like that you watched it last night and you made that note, and you have no idea Daddy what gone. it was. It maybe it's just when you find out something about their dad. I guess I don't know. Um, and then I have a maybe note it's about, about you. Maybe you were just gone at that. Maybe, point. maybe you checked out. Naomi's Why mom gasping at mosquitoes. He had the same lyric as I did. Keep shaking my world like a snow globe. <laughs> he had it. Um, okay, so here we're at the part where I actually thought that this was funny. He takes them out, and this is where Bob said he was getting worried because this is where the film splits. This is where he picks his girl. So he's out skating with blonde Liz. Um, and there's a zoom and I was like, wait, why do they got to zoom in on the kiss? I was like, this is such like a, like a, a trope of Hallmark movies, like a slow also, zoom. Like, weird for this because like, you didn't know where this was going. Exactly. And now like if he's out making out with Liz, you kind of feel bad for Naomi. Like it's exactly. like a weird thing. And then it cuts and it's just Liz <clears throat> standing there bug eyed daydreaming. And I, I actually chuckled. I, okay. I, I like fucking laughed. I was like, that's funny. Uh, I really like genuinely just for the same concept when they invite everybody over for Hanukkah. And that's where like Chris is sneaking fish. I thought that shit was and funny, man. the idea man. of him being like this vegan the whole movie. But, and, but like them... This is why it's funny to me because, like, you were talking, and we all I had we all have notes about the vegan stuff. So they spent the entire whoever wrote this movie doesn't know how to use aspirational, but they know how to play the long game because uh-huh. they spent the entire first hour and twenty minutes just setting up that this dude was a vegan with no payoff whatsoever, just to have him be a pescatarian. Well, the payoff—that's the joke. Wait, wait, the <laughs> the, what the pay, the payoff? Yeah, that is the joke. Like, that's the joke. But the payoff. Hey, you thought he was a vegan, so but he likes fish too. So they. Own- 
Naomi's fine with him talking her out of life insurance or health insurance. He's a lie. But she draws the line at him lying about being a vegan. Like well, she's like, clearly you don't know. The, like the way the way he's lie. sneaking the fish too. He has so like, funny. He has like his his hand covering his face, and he's like real slowly he's like. It was like genuinely funny. Like, I thought it was funny. Hey, anytime he was sneaking fish, I was like, this. Is but they did it for stupid. no reason. That's what I. They that's set it up like it was so gonna be funny. important. Like yeah. I thought. Because, like, something Naomi says to him, I thought they were going to, like, break up, and then she was going to go be with Liz. Yeah. Because they were like, oh, you know, you, you, don't, you don't know people the way you think you do. Exactly. And then they never bring it up again. Yeah. And, like, yeah, after that's the... That's why I love I it. thought they were setting him up to be a piece of shit so they could go be lesbians off in the sunset <laughs> together. And it didn't happen. They and were pissed, trying. I'm pissed they were about trying. it. That's why you hate Chris, because he kept Liz and Naomi apart. Yeah. Chris is problematic. <laughs> as as the Cancel CW Chris Silver, <laughs> as the show said, everybody hates Chris, but just Shane. Um, the guy says he's vegan and he talks in third person. I don't like him. Yeah, so now he's a, he's a veteran. He's a piece of shit. He is a hey, him he is, and Bob <laughs> <laughs> stolen valor both of them. <laughs> so you you better be careful how you talk about him. But um, so now we're at the point of the movie, and I'm like, cool. There's got to be 25 minutes left. There's still an hour an hour left. <laughs> So he's picked Naomi, which I was like, okay, that second kiss is real. And now this is where the story starts to divide. They go on their dates. They find out that he's lying about the pescatarian. Liz tells us, uh, Liz is mad at her mom because, like, they don't really get along. And she leaves her out of the card, the Christmas card. But then photoshops her in later. And that made me laugh where it's, like, a picture of her. <laughs> like, her it's, like, the worst picture ever. And yeah. it's, like, a horrible photoshop. I think it's that scene where they're arguing about the card. Um... <laughs> Travis is walks in and then walks back up. Yeah, the brass, the brisket one. <laughs> he's half asleep. He walks into the kitchen like looking for food. He sees their argument. He just, he yeah, just starts that's, that's at the Dips. that's at the end where they're like kind of like friends are tough, but so is being a mom. <laughs> Dude, I know? love Travis so much. He's great. Um, I like like the idea. I mean, there's a short list for Hallmark actors. I feel like they just have like their Rolodex where like we mm-hmm. need a goofy dad. That guy had to have been in nine other movies because that's yeah. how they operate. Like him reading the script and being like, yeah, I can crush this part. <laughs> yeah. what, do I, what do I have? Three lines? There? Hey, that's, there's that's perfect. Oh me. yeah, I got it. Perfect for walk me. Walk in, walk out. I'll, I'll steal that show. So we're at... We're at like the hour mark, and my notes are still calling Liz blonde because I am. At, I don't know. We're her way name. past the hour mark. We're almost um, done. That, okay. that that Hanukkah party is at like the one hour. Um, my note about well, that. they have been home for five fucking days, and their friendship is gone to shit. It's over. So it's clearly been just them two for the last ten years. Well, because like no friends at all. Yeah, they have no other friends because it's fake Christmas, The Great Gatsby, and so when they return home, Liz is trying to be jay gatsby instead of liz i forget her last name and so she's living this lie and so is kind of naomi for a while but more mm-hmm. so liz and it's causing problems who's toby mcguire in this not Na- uh the friend well, the friend from high school that runs uh, the, 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 blonde the shop that runs oh, the okay. shop but she has not end up well then okay sure she's toby mcguire i forgot toby mcguire it doesn't chris die. is tom gatsby dies yeah, so Liz dies. And then Carrie Mulligan is Chris. Oh, yeah, Chris is not Tom. Chris is Daisy. Daisy, yeah. And, and then, then who's who's the big the big muscular guy Tom. in Tom that's, Buchanan? That's Ryan. That's Ryan. That's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's the whole thing. Like, they literally just tried to make it the Great Gatsby in that, yeah. like, sense. And I realized it, and it made me so irrationally angry. <laughs> like hour and a half mark now we're getting a commercial every 13 yeah. seconds like it's like it's almost like but a the football only... game you come back for the kickoff and then you go right back to yeah. the commercial the good thing is though it helped us get to the end 100 because yeah. i was getting over it anyway and yeah. it was getting late Me too. When I, was I was getting it. over it too but like that was where i it like clicked in my head like oh they're really because fu- somebody says like you can't really relive the past they say it again they multiple times and i'm like you fucking asshole they said that multiple you made times a dumb hallmark great gatsby yep. like this is what we're doing now and then the so we find we start to find out that their friendship was obviously very shitty and that Liz was doing things for Naomi and Naomi thought and Liz thought Naomi was holding her back because of this um, so they start their, they go their separate ways and are reliving high school yes essentially where Naomi's she's, dating Chris she's dating Chris Liz and, is being popular being popular and they're re-throwing the 
winner, winner, ball winner the jingle ball, jingle ball, jingle ball. Uh, and so they did. They do this at Brews Brothers, a beer company, which I thought was a great name, amazing, name. Good, amazing, great name. amazing brewery name. And I was like, I made note of that. Um, but it just makes you think. It's like how. How did they survive this whole by working together, by going to college together? That they return home for five well, fucking crazy days is like, and they hate each other. They went to Iowa State. Yeah, it's not like a small school. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you didn't, they didn't meet anybody else while they were there. Yeah, they weren't. You're telling me neither of them ever had a relationship at all. Mm-hmm. It was just the two of them. That's what I mean. The whole lesbians, way. lesbians. They should have been. This movie would have been so much better if they would have if. You take the the little side plot of him being a fake vegan. You go, oh, this guy lies about a lot of stuff. He sucks. Get him out of here. We realize we actually love each other. Yeah, this movie's so much better. Or you just make the entire movie. You get you cut the two of them entirely. Or make the entire movie about his life as a a fake vegan. (laughs) Just lying, just trying to get by. (laughs) He's so ashamed of himself. Or we find out why that guy's name's like Party Mike or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the next. That's next year. Or we just cut the whole movie. That's no. Well, now I want the. I want the spinoffs. I want yeah. I want all of them. So I want the Never Been Chris, where it's just Chris being a fake vegan, and it's like uh, the Reverend in the Scarlet Letter, where he like goes home and like lashes himself because he's so (laughs) disappointed every time he like eats fish. Um, I will say when Naomi said he, I think he's the one. Liz's reaction was like genuine, like we've been home for three days. What the fuck are you, you barely talking know this about? man? Yep. I think is what she says. I think that's where I made the note. Um, She's literally the voice of reason. This whole Hanukkah thing. party happens. That's like it's things are getting going from bad to worse there. That's where the fish happens the first time. Then Naomi sees it at a dinner. Yeah, uh, in, that's the mean, what... in the meantime, Liz is hanging out the... with the popular girl. We haven't seen her. She buys dresses for this thing. She's all yeah. Naomi, Naomi's like, everything. why did you buy me this ugly ass dress? And I was like, was it? It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that but, bad. I mean, also, like, buying your friend a dress, I think, is kind of weird. Like, yeah. I don't think that that's a thing that girls do, but I'm not a girl. So girls buy correct girl me stuff. if I'm wrong. But, like, a full dress for, like, an event? Yeah, I would never buy like, you hey, a I suit. bought you this dress for this major thing that Controlling. I'm planning. Controlling. Yeah. I would never buy you a suit. That's like me being, hey, RP, I'm running the beef and beer. I want you to wear this. <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I know you would. I, I, I just called Liz the voice of reason. Um, I just remember she's also very selfish. Yeah, because at one yeah. point she says, "Oh, I never." Well, she's wanted- also selfless by not going to Stanford. Selfless. Selfless. I, that's where I thought he was going with that. I got real mad that but, he didn't um, say that. Sorry, but the movie's so boring; it's made my brain boring. <laughs> but she goes, um, "Oh, I never wanted to go to these dances because everybody would have wanted to dance with you, and I would have been left alone." Selfish bitch. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's rude. Nobody puts baby in a corner. But um, yeah, so then they have the Hanukkah thing. And my note, here's, I couldn't find it earlier. My note on the Hanukkah is, this says, I know most of you don't know what Hanukkah is about. And I said, that line was delivered with fucking gut-wrenching intent. Like, it was just like, (laughs) you fuckers. You you Christmas fuckers. All you do is watch Hallmark Christmas. (laughs) My dad, uh, actually... He, I forgot he did watch this movie because I remember I was, uh, it was 1 a.m. because he watches them all the time, all day, every day. And I do remember I was up uh, for whatever reason and I, I heard him say, well, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> just real defensive. Yes, I do. <laughs> How dare you assume? Yeah. Was um, that before or after he yelled, just be lesbians already? <laughs> Uh, but now it starts to unravel. This is kind of the end of the movie where <laughs> Naomi. So, but when Naomi sees him eat the fish, and she decides, "Okay, you're right. I don't know you." And instead of getting to know him more after five days, she's like, "We're done. We can't date." Yes. And I'm and like, then they kind of like hash it out, like, but real quickly while they're set, setting up for this dance. Like, so the end, the last fifteen minutes of this movie are like wild as far as yeah. Like she's like you were. You were, I carried you and you were my, and you were my only friend. And like, damn, dude, it was like cut well, deep. So I, I have a note where I said there's 10 minutes left and I have no idea where it is oh, going. Oh, I know. I paused, I pa- it's funny. I paused it with 10 minutes left too. And I was like, yeah, okay. Well, this is going like, to, they're going to fast like, forward. But how are they resolution. wrapping this up? It, yeah. They don't really wrap it up. And that's what it is. Cause <laughs> my don't. last note, <laughs> well, they sell so the ending. The end of the movie is that just hey nothing was actually the resolved, end of the movie, which is Gatsby. Is they're gonna yeah, just, they're so gonna we, sell the company and Naomi and Chris are like I guess we'll try like that's yeah. not an ending. Yeah, I mean this movie's two hours up? of nonsense and then no ending. <laughs> it's, it's, 
Yeah, it sucked. I was we were robbed. I will say though, at the end when they're walking around the jingle ball, you you the scene is directed poorly because you can clearly t- see them go like, okay, and action, let's start walking, <laughs> and they're walking through, and she's sit waving hi to people, and there's just this one actress that just goes, hey, like super late. And it's just very weird. And I took a video of it because I enjoyed it that much. <laughs> you see it? Did you see it? It's like yeah, super on quick. This. It's right. It's on the right. <laughs> it's just like, hey. But like she's way gone past her. So we beat on boats against the current borne back ceaselessly into the past. That's the last line from The Great Gatsby. And that is coincidentally the last line of this film. Yes. Um, Delivered by... Did we miss? Did we miss anything? That's worth noting. Uh, two hours of my time back. <laughs> it was long. My first text to the guys. But was, it wasn't. It's the same like this. It's an hour and one. twenty minutes. We need to find. They need to be a forty-five minute one. Wait, it was Which, what? It was an hour and twenty minutes. I thought this was a two and a half hour movie. With previews. No, well, it was. Two, it was a two hour movie because you, we have to cut through the commercials. Yeah. But it, the, the time, that's why I said that my first text was not a fan of this runtime. But yeah. the runtime, I feel like, is the same runtime as every yes. other Hallmark movie. Yes. The problem is their layout, which is what I said, was that like it felt so long in the beginning. And then at the end, you just couldn't get to the end because it was like five minutes of yeah. movie and then eight minutes of I commercial. think next year I'm just going to rent it on Prime and not have to deal with the commercials because that was honestly the worst part. Yeah, I mean, it was fine for me. Were you watching on anything you could click through them with? Yeah, I was watching on his DVR. I, click, click, I mean, click, I didn't click, really click, think it was that click, painful. Click, 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 like, yeah. it was just like... No, but it was like every five minutes, I'm like, oh, fuck, more fucking commercials? Like, come yeah, on. Yeah, but I'm not paying <laughs> oh, That's a the kind of thing that would make you, like, very... Where I get mad that they're making a fake Gatsby movie, you're like, fucking commercials! <laughs> yeah, because I wanted this yeah. bullshit to be over with. Yeah. She had to buy a new TV. Yeah, I, was tri- I, was tired of, I was tired of seeing the Santa Summit preview yeah, and, and not, not watching, be watching that movie. Yeah. 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 Guys, guys, we fucked up. I'm sorry. Oh. So, I'm watching that one on my own. So before I give you the uh, our official review of the film, are you gonna read some? Five I'm gonna star read reviews? some. I'm gonna read some. No, uh, funny letterbox. I'll I'll look for a five star one on letterbox. Um, you do that. I'll this try is from time. Crystal. Gave it one star. They were lesbians. Fuck Chris. That's her review. <laughs> okay, that uh, was actually me. I reviewed that. <laughs> Two stars. No one in their 30s talks this much about their high school days unless they're a loser. The gals were codependent <laughs> lesbians who should have dated each other because everyone else in town peaked in high school. Why was this man's veganism such a plot point when no one would have cared if he admitted that he was a part-time pescatarian? <laughs> and then the next line right after that. Why were they so hung up hung up on the dollar store version of Pedro Pascal? Uh, I like people who are like writing. How long are your reviews? Did you write a review for this on Letterboxd? Yeah, it's short though. Uh, this is boring as shit with not nearly enough polyamory as a half a star. Uh, never trust an English major whose favorite book is The Great Gatsby. Uh, this is a half star from Kimberly. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Chris is a bitch. He peaked in high school. Naomi Jesus. is a f- Naomi is a fake friend for going after the guy they both liked. They are they are thirty years old. Get over high school. It's embarrassing. Go to fucking Stanford. I hate them. I hate this movie. <laughs> Uh, I like that that person started off like not mad but mad and ended like like they made themselves more angry as they wrote the the caption Uh, and then this one's a star and a half I'm sorry the manipulative great Gatsby loving fake vegan who tried to convince his new girlfriend that she didn't need health insurance was the actual love interest Um, and then this is this is the last one this is my favorite one from Ellen Depp one star this movie was awful. I need more just like it. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was some of the ones I looked through on Letterboxd. Uh, I'll try to find a five-star review. But there's genuinely like fans of the guy who plays Chris. His name is um, Tyler... Tyler Hines. Tyler Hines. They every, said Hallmark every... does Tyler Hines dirty. This film... Oh, it's 246 reviews. I lied about the 29K. I don't know where I said Every that. 10 out of 10 on IMDb talks about how amazing he is. I just get uh, the highest rated was five stars and it says, yo, what the fuck was Tyler Hines a ghost? Was this just a movie about two best friends? Okay. That's dumb. Uh, excellent movie. Everyone, uh, the okay sign should watch this. Okay. It was made by a 
the guy who directed the movie. <laughs> uh, I thought this was really cute. New storyline to Hallmark. Well written with good acting. Really were. I, 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 Shane hated the acting. I actually thought the acting was good in this one. I wouldn't say good, but it wasn't like, oh man, what a shitty Hallmark movie. Acting wise. <laughs> Here's a one out of ten review. Writer needs to be fired. Please don't waste two hours of your time <laughs> watching this. <laughs> uh, someone give it four stars for Harold. Uh, I don't know what that means. But that's just some of the reviews that, that, that Letterboxd had, and you can read my review on there, my star, my one-star review out of five. Um, it was boring. It was cookie-cutter nonsense. But they did do some new things for a Hallmark movie, but I feel as though I've been bamboozled out of the traditional... This movie didn't make me feel better. A Hallmark Christmas movie's point is to make you feel better. The spirit of Christmas. This is not. This is just two people that want to... Fuck the same dude. It's mostly this movie just doesn't end. Yeah, there's, there's it's just no kind of ending. Like, there's no ending. They leave everything open. So you are you are <clears throat> a Hallmark movie buff. What do you give it? Out of what? Five. Quarter star. A quarter star. It's not yeah. possible. He's gonna plot be a was half. stupid. All right, <laughs> half star. Okay. This the uh, plot was stupid. If they would have just played up Chris being a piece of shit, like that's what I, direction I thought they were going. And then they, two of them get together, five stars. Okay. I don't, I don't mind that. I would probably have given it, I would have broke my Hallmark rule if they got <laughs> together at the end. Movie of the year, if that's what happened. <laughs> Bob? One star. Okay. Because if you're watching a Hallmark movie to be mad about it, like to, like to fucking actually rate it. Yeah. Like I don't think it deserves a half star because like we watched the Hallmark movie. We, you, you, we, we knew what we were getting into. Yeah. That's why out of principle, it's like it's really like either a half star or a star. I, I mean, a half star, I feel like it's just like you can't give it a half star because you went into it and you said you were going to watch it. All right, I've half, given a movie a half, half star, star for the plot, half star for that fake Christmas song that I really liked. Okay, yeah, that's like a, there's same. enough because it's like, um, what was the movie? The Room, right? Is that the one with yeah, fucking, yeah, 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 where like everybody like loved it because it was so bad. Yeah, like if I watched this movie because I was trying to get in the Christmas spirit. Then yeah, I would have been pissed. But like my intention when watching the movie was like I'm gonna rip this thing apart. Yeah. And so then finding all the dumb shit yeah. while I was watching made it more enjoyable for it me. Is. So no, it's a, honestly, it was a one star. Genuinely, Naomi ending up with Chris at the end is why I didn't like it. But she like isn't even if with they him. Both it's all so unresolved. If they both would have told they him, just the, are like if they both would have told him to fuck off, I would have liked it a lot more. They're just like not not. <laughs> I feel like they wasted anymore. my time with this asshole. They gotta. They can't end. It. They were close. They they pushed the boundaries. They had Hanukkah. They almost had lesbian lovers. They Hanukkah. pushed the, they pushed the boundaries. I I just found this boring, and that's like my biggest problem. It was boring. The one last year was fucking stupid. And, <laughs> You're so funny. Though. And, and but it got the Christmas matches a point. Yeah. The best one that we have done was the first one. One hundred percent. The candy cane company. It goes. It was terrible. But it was what so was, much fun. What, so, was the, what was that one called? Do you remember? Uh, Mary and Bright. Mary and Bright. And what was the second one with... Uh, Sister Swap? It was like the yeah, twins. Um, where she, she plays was Switched for Christmas. Yeah, I think you're All right, correct. So it was and Mary and Bright Switched for Christmas. Last year was some kind of pun. The on most colorful color time of the, the year. Most yeah. Color, yeah, so then that becomes... Is that your four? Is this better it's than a, that one? Yeah. I think that one's so bad, it's actually my three. I think it goes progressively. I think we've gotten worse each year. The most colorful time of the year was last year. and then the I think f- that one might have been the worst one. That, that was, was the that worst was, one for sure. I think that that one goes Dog higher shit. on my list because the plot is just so fucking ridiculous from Jump Street. Yeah. That I'm like, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, let's make a movie about a colorblind guy. Where, like, yeah, just like. He gets, Christmas, he gets glasses he, for Christmas. He hates like, Christmas yeah. because he can't see colors. Yeah, like, that's funny. I, I actually saw um, there was a big article about a colorblind person who who actually, wrote that who who wrote a response to that film and said that she he had finally felt seen in a film because see? as long as he was wearing muted colors he was he seen. was well no yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's like I, I see myself representation well, matters I remember so watching that movie and colorblind I, I people looked up like Christmas. his specific kind of color blindness and it's like the most rare kind you can ever be yeah i remember because he can't see any anything, color yeah, at all everything like he sees grayscale you see like a uh, dog i changed my rating to a half star because they tried <laughs> to be the great gatsby and that i just remembered how much i pissed me off gatsby 
What Gatsby? <laughs> Gatsby. What Gatsby? Start, start, I gave start it, Gatsby tomorrow, actually. I'm going to give it a half star, too, because it was boring. And the other ones, like, kind of try. Um, but I, like, I there was actually, like, aspects. I was like, okay, they're trying here. They're trying. They got a couple good laughs out of me. But the movie and what they were saying was, like, I could care less. Like, it was bad. But it wasn't as bad as last year's. Last year's was but like i think i enjoyed last year's more because that's it, what i mean like, like, i enjoyed watching last, last year's was more. so ridiculous that it made me laugh yeah last year like everything was like what the yeah, fuck it was is so happening? stupid uh, last year was like the scene where he was like trying to sneakily eat fish like that was the whole movie it was all ridiculous oh yeah that was my point my point with like the um the name of the title never been chris and like the plot was that they were like both feeding for his attention that evaporates and like 20 Liz, minutes. Liz barely even cares about this guy. Yeah, she's like, does for like a hot second, and then she's and then like... she wants to kiss him at ice skating, but she's more worried about her company and then being yeah, popular. Yeah. yeah, this movie stinks. <laughs> stinks on ice. Big time. On actual ice, they yeah. actually did. But, um, yeah, that's our that's our Hallmark Christmas movie. Stay for tuned for next year where we do Santa, Santa Next Santa. year, Next year, we'll vet the movies a little bit more. Stay tuned today because I might release uh, a, second a, a live Santa Summit. I was going to say, stay tuned for Hallmark Movie Part 2 with Santa yeah. Summit. We got all Christmas together. Look, I know boys. it's Christmas Day, but we do have time for Santa Summit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm considering. I got. Uh, I'm going to check this, the schedule today see yeah. if it's on at all. Uh, I'll throw it on the DVR unless Shane wants to buy it because he doesn't have to skip mm-hmm. through. No more commercials. So Can't then, do them. So, Can't. so then I get, I get to own Santa Summit forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't. Can't, no more commercials. I can't do them. Can't do them. No can't more chocolate. I still say to myself, no chocolate. <laughs> from the first yeah. one, from the first year. Um, but yeah, guys. Uh, freaks out. That, no! <laughs> candy canes. Just, hey, I also make really good chocolates also. Oh, you should sell them. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Put them on our giant knockers. Who the uh, fuck do you think? Go, you go listen to all our Hallmark Christmas episodes. Yeah, check them uh, rate, out. Like, rate, like, and subscribe. Uh, they're all live streamed. And uh, just like today, no different. Thank you guys for listening. I know it's been some time. Don't be surprised if there's a special present later. <laughs> what is it? Santa Summer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we appreciate you guys listening to this. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Boxing Day. Boxing Happy Day. New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, I don't know if there's any, there's no other calendar, there's no other holidays on my iPhone's calendar. Yeah, so that's, that's that, that, that kind of checks all right them now. off. Uh, stay safe, spend it well, um, use it well. Happy crew neck Christmas. Oh, you want to do a fun game at the end, real quick? Sure. Uh, I need to buy very last minute Christmas presents. Oh, again? Yeah. Anything, oh. anything for the immediate family that would be funny. These glasses that can make you see color. <laughs> I'll look them up. A box of candy st- canes. Do you still need to buy for? Just... Your parents. Your parents. Yes. <laughs> just does the Hallmark Channel have a store? Yeah, they I actually know. have a book. I know your mom has it, right? Well, like she a coffee does. table book. You can. Yeah, I can. My dad can't read. Though. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I'll give it to you. On, I'll give it to it's you yesterday. <laughs> I'll give it to you yesterday. You wrap it, give yeah. it to him, and then you. Do just they get make three XL Hallmark movie? Uh, Did you actually give that to him? I'm find out. What the the do little shirt? Yeah. What did he do? <laughs> he left. <laughs> he knew. He knew it was yeah. funny. I I got him real presents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it came in late too, so I think I just had him open it out of like the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> it was like January fourth. Probably like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> All um, right, but now I need it back because our people wants to wear it because it's funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, you I don't wore know. it around Chicago, didn't you? Like, not ironically. No, I wore it before we went out. I wore it underneath. I thought you had it underneath a sweatshirt or something. No, I had it underneath the hot dog. At one point, we were yeah. At one point, we were at a bar and you lifted your shirt up and it was a (laughs) cool shirt. You had that on in Chicago. I did like it. (laughs) That movie, I am. That movie was COVID brain. When I was like, that's a good movie for like if you have two kids. That movie is bad. That is a bad movie that I purchased. (laughs) I purchased that movie. (laughs) I bought with my money. My COVID money. My stimulus (laughs) check went to (laughs) too little. You didn't pay for that. The American (laughs) public paid for that. I got it for twelve. My tax dollars paid for that movie. Fuck man. Um, Yeah, I don't. uh, Christmas. You can never go wrong with a Christmas ornament. Yeah, I guess. What What do you get for the man who has everything? That's what I was thinking. Your mom. You should make her a scrapbook. Today's Christmas, dude. 
You have time. <laughs> I gotta, Make it while you watch Santa Summit. I was say, I gotta watch Santa Summit. But uh, anything to plug, guys, before we go, because I don't have any suggestions for you. I literally yeah, yeah, have nothing. I'm, I'm all tapped out on shopping. Uh what am I plugging? I've been a big Apple TV guy lately. Slow <laughs> Horses just came back. A couple episodes into that, I do like Slow Horses. I um, watched. You remember when I sprained my ankle, like back in March? Yeah. I watched all five and a half episodes. I finished episode six two weeks ago. <laughs> and then literally Slow Horses came back the next day. It was Thursday, came <laughs> yeah. back on Friday. I was like, it wasn't as good as, I didn't think season two was as good as season one. The, the climax of season two is pretty cool, though. Yeah, with the, like uh, the, last the terrorists and stuff. Cool, yeah, yeah. yeah, And then, uh, which the same thing for the season ending one. Was really the ending good for too. season one is really cool when they're like chasing them around in the yeah. vans and stuff. Uh, this one is uh, a little more personal. I don't know. You haven't watched it at all, but like, no, I, I will because I I enjoy it. I tighter think it's a good to show. the chest, and then Monarch also. Yeah, I've been watching the Godzilla show, but I do want to see, which we just talked about the other day, Godzilla minus one because apparently it's like straight up like a horror film. I heard Godzilla is like Jason Voorhees type shit. Just is pissed off at everybody. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I'll go see it. Yeah, I heard it's the best. In a very long time of Godzilla films. But I, I, I don't know how they rank them, but this is like a straight kaiju film like Japanese yeah. made and produced. Yep. So, like, they're not our usual no, no. style, but I'm still down to Yeah, to I, I, I want to yeah. see it really bad. Uh, Shane, anything to plug? Uh, I've been watching What We Do in the Shadows, which mm. is... You've seen the movie, right? No, I gotta watch that still. I think I've only seen it. It's, not, I, it's different. It, no, it's, a, it's but it's the same. Same concept, yeah. They're, but it's, they're like the the format and yeah. everything. It's the it's the same. But it's it's legitimately one of my new favorite like sitcom type shows. Have yeah, you gotten to the uh, where he has to put his his buddy down? He was my rotten soldier, my big yeah. cheese. Yeah, That's, that I'm on. Me up I'm on like time. season four did out of the, I think six. Did you get to the Jersey Devil? No. Where they pay Bon Jovi? No, I haven't got to that yet. <laughs> Fuck it. Marvel told me about that. But that shit was funny. It's it's I like I do it. <laughs> Like to motivate myself to actually do cardio when I go to the gym because I oh, fucking hate doing cardio. So like I'll like watch an episode at the end. Like it's legitimately one of my new favorite shows. Yeah, I like, do. I have to watch it. I'm gonna catch up and I think just restart it again because <clears> it's that good. I can. I have the movie if you. Want. I only have it physical if you want to borrow it. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm 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 gonna watch it eventually. I just haven't yet. And yeah. Taika but, Waititi and Jermaine Clement show up all the time. They they have like oh they do their characters show up. Not like all the time, but like maybe at least once a season uh. they'll show up. And they'll they'll be in an episode. I have to I have to I started the first episode and I never finished it, but I I really enjoy the movie. So it's I, hilarious, dude. So I yeah I would. I'm, I'll usually be on the treadmill at the gym, just like cracking up to myself. Yeah. Like I feel like everyone thinks I'm a psycho. Probably you're running and having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> you're also, season two of Invincible has been pretty solid. I have not I watched. Have not started it. What's well, it's at a the gap. It's sort of mid season break. Is that why there hasn't been? Yes. Because there's been they're like not coming four back or till, something. They're not coming back till 2024. I've been checking every day thinking there's going to be a new episode drop, and then there just hasn't for nope. the last week. Nope. Not till season. Well, that's disappointing. But it's the so first dumb. couple episodes have been really good. It's been like three years since season one. Yeah. Why did and not just take wait? A break. Why not just wait until it's done? It's been really good, though. That's dumb. Um, the only thing I'm going to plug, we're in the holiday season, uh, the holdovers. It's might still be playing in theaters. But you can buy it digitally, not available physically yet. Just like me. Yep, just like Bob. I'm not available. No, you're not, emo- you're not available emotionally. <laughs> That's also very true. Uh, give the Marvels a shot when it comes to Disney+. Plus. And yeah, I don't really have anything. I don't really have anything else to plug, I, I guess. I've I, been pop bopping, hopping bopping around with uh, games and watching for uh, reading Fourth Wing as my other plug. But before we go, favorite Christmas movies. Uh, Shane, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Or if you can't give me your top, you can give me one of your top five, top four. It's kind of just between two. It's it's either Muppet Christmas Carol or Home Alone. I mm-hmm. kind of teeter back and forth every year because yeah. I love. Like they're they're the two that I have to watch every year. Yeah, because I just love them. Home Alone, and then I mean Muppet Christmas Carol is definitely up there, but Home Alone's my number one yeah. all the time. Um, Elf has kind of faded over time. I liked Elf for a long time. Yeah, um, 
The Grinch never fades, though. I, I still will watch I, that I, and crack up every single time I'm I watch it. I'm not a Grinch guy. Just I know. Never it's either you're, it. you, it's very it. divisive. I'm not anti- I remember the Grinch, one year like the we were. Watch it. I'll let him watch we it. We were in like yeah. college, I think, and you literally watched the Grinch like Dude, you watched 40, it 40 times. 40 times that one year. Yeah. After I came home from my he birthday. Would get, you would get hammered and put the Grinch yeah. on. Like, you all were the like time. legitimately a crackhead. You would text me and you'd be like, I watched the Grinch again. And I was like, dude, the what are you doing? I watched it so much. And then when I got drunk on my birthday. When we came home, I put it on. That's what I was watching. I'm saying, like, we would go out and you would drink, and then, like, I knew for a fact that you were going home and putting the Grinch on. It's Grinch, it's Grinch, but it's not Christmas. Yeah. Um, um, but it's not my favorite holiday. It's not my favorite Christmas movie. I think my favorite, I've come to the realization <laughs> that my favorite is Home Alone. Home Alone, yeah. I've Home watched Home Alone three times in the past five days. I usually, I haven't watched it once. I haven't really been as Christmassy as usual. I'm trying to, I'm not, that's why I was watching my Hallmark movie, trying to get that vibe. Uh, you know, it's Christmas Day. I don't listen to Christmas music. I, I haven't been listening to Christmas music as much. Yeah. What's your top Christmas music or song? It doesn't have to be a specific, like just song. Happy in Christmas War is over. Okay. That's a good one. People hate the Paul McCartney one. I like, that's a good one. Too. I like Shanks hates that song. He's, Shanks hates the Beatles. Oh, well, then there you go. He's yeah. like, it's so stupid. They're both good songs. Shanks just hates the Beatles. I would say Happy Christmas War is over and then. Probably Blue Christmas. Okay. Oh, the Elvis one? The Elvis one. That's That's actually one of my favorite Christmas movies, The Year Without a Santa Claus. That's one yeah. of my favorite. That, that, that ridiculous. You know, I, 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 yeah. My that Blue Christmas. For a long time, I didn't know you could do such a good Elvis. <laughs> that ridiculous, like, stop I'll motion. So I love that movie. Blue, just like about you. Let's Keep going. Keep going. Now, yeah, just, now, now spend the next year and a half of your life talking like you are Elvis. <laughs> Welcome, Bruce. <laughs> and then you've made it, Mama. Right? Uh, yeah, those are probably my two. Year without Santa Claus is in my top four. Little movie. Letterbox. I, I know you want to get out. Wait, I usually, I usually watch that one every huh? year too. Home Alone and what? Home Alone, Grinch, Elf, and a Year Without Santa year Claus is up there. Claus. And I would. Take a year without Santa Claus out and put in Die Hard. Yeah, it was Die Hard. That was Christmas Vacation. I don't get the hype around. I, I like it, didn't grow I up with it. Christmas Vacation, so that's also true. And then like, uh, I don't think I've ever actually watched It's a Wonderful Life all the way through. I feel like I would like that to be honest. Yeah, that like would. is up my alley. But the uh, Christmas Story. Yeah, it's great. But like I grew up on it, so I'm like over it. If that yeah, makes sense. Like, I it's watch never it. gonna be a top. Like I'll watch it probably once every year. But like when I was a kid, I hated it because it was on all day and it was boring to me. And like yeah, so if you didn't grow up with it, for me, my Christmas tradition is that it's you know 24 hours of a Christmas story. Christmas Eve it goes on, and by the end of Christmas Day, I have seen the movie one time through because we because, yeah, as things are happening, you've seen every part of it. Yeah, that's that's mine. I would never call that a favorite Christmas movie of mine. Yeah. Because it's not. It's just it's a tradition. And for that's me. the same. Yeah. Like yeah. my aunt would put it on immediately when we got there and then like mm-hmm. it would be on later on. Well what's your favorite song though? We I, I we got diverted from Christmas that. baby please come home probably yeah. which by that's who one. most all of them, to be honest. Yeah. But there's a the the Death, Death Cat, Cat for Cutie. That I yeah. really like. Yeah. Eagles is really good too. Eagles is good. Uh, the original. I don't. I, I'm blanking on her name. It might not even be the original, but like, yeah. there's a woman. She was on. She's on New Girl. The one episode she sings it on New Girl. That's, well, I don't know. But like, she hers is good. And I also like uh, Rocket Around the Christmas Tree. No. Well, so the running joke right now because I play. I have a Christmas playlist, and yeah. I was playing in school. And on the Christmas playlist is, uh, it's I just put like Pentatonix albums on there. Oh yeah, because yeah. they make all these Christmas albums, and one they have is a frozen. Cover, they have a cover of "I Just Called to Say I Love You." Oh, because he says Christmas once. <laughs> <laughs> Trash bag was like, "This is a, a Christmas song," and I and I was like, "Yeah, you know, like what are your favorite Christmas songs?" And I'm I'm usually like, I don't know. It's, I'm, I would go back and forth between uh, Jingle Bells and "I Just Called to Say I Love You" by Stevie Wonder. <laughs> like it's very different songs. <laughs> Fairy Tale New York. Yeah, like that's like the more off the beat. Like Happy Christmas War is over is a Christmas song, but that's more of like the off the beaten path. And like I, I throw Fairy Tale of New York in there as well. And then uh, what's the Christmas rapping or whatever it's called? Like Merry Christmas. Merry yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I do yeah. like that song. Bah humbug. But I think I'll make. Th- I think I'll miss this one this year. Yeah. Uh, anything from the Guardians holiday mm-hmm. special? With all those songs. A couple new ones. They were good. Nat King Cole, the Christmas song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's great. But then also you're gonna you're probably gonna make fun of me. Um, Al City has the Christmas song, 
Kiss Me Babe, It's Christmas Time. It's an absolute banger. I think you need to play it at the play end of out. this. Play out. It's with that an one. A- no, I'm serious. It's an absolute banger. All right, I will, we're going to get flagged for copyright, but I'll, I'll, I'll put like. <laughs> Do you need a, me to just sing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sing it. <laughs> I'm putting it on as soon as we stop recording. Anyway. Can you sing it as Elvis? I don't know the song. <laughs> uh, can you pretend you're singing it? Can you make up the lyrics? What's the, what is, yeah. what's the title? Kiss Me Baby, It's Christmas Time by Al City. Um, by Elvis City. <laughs> do you, but and then one last Christmas related thing. Do you guys have like a favorite Christmas treat? Like uh, food, drink? I had a candy cane sweet. today for Those the first time. little sugar Christmas. cookies that are usually shaped like Christmas trees. I just got oh, a pack. Good. That have like the little sprinkles on. You get them fucking everywhere. Yeah, you yeah, get them all year round. They're solid. I just got a pack oh, from no, Shopper. My favorite day. Christmas tree treat uh shane and i had last night and it was cocktail shrimp at, <laughs> at christmas eve <laughs> all of them yeah an entire tray and then my yeah. tummy hurts oh <laughs> shrimp are so good for me um i'm not an eggnog guy yeah i'm not a, that's what i was gonna say you I'm like eggnog. Eggnog. i love it i eggnog. would i'll drink it it's just never yeah. there it's for yeah. me to like appreciate well, that's what they much. were drinking it in the in the movie and i was like oh eggnog. They drink eggnog. i'm so drinking much like eggnog I'm drinking alcohol you drink alcoholic eggnog or you drink yes, regular both. eggnog? really yeah. i take regular eggnog and i add alcohol to it that's what i mean like you don't you it's don't just delicious. drink it for like it. no i drink it because i like it i take eggnog you'll just drink eggnog yeah i drink regular eggnog when I have a thing of Turkey Hill in my fridge. I just drink it when I want it. Like when do Throughout you drink the year? Egg? That's like drinking no, milk in the, the afternoon. No, you can only get it during Christmas time. Mm. That's what that's what I mean. Like it's like drink like it's like drinking milk in like at like two in the afternoon. Like yeah, I but don't it, do that either. No, I'll have it like, like like with breakfast or like no, like at night. Uh, it's like a, like a dessert. Yeah, candy. yeah I'll be like, okay, oh, that's, that's I'm gonna have a Christmas cookie. I'll asking. have a I'll have a glass of eggnog with it. Well, we, he'll go to IHOP and have his Wonka pancakes and a glass of eggnog. Yeah. You guys see the, no, the Wonka promotion? No. My favorite Christmas uh, treat is uh, peppermint mocha coffee. That's just like latte coffee flavor, like any of that. That's I actually favorite. changed my mind. I think it's Nestle makes those little circular cookies. Yeah. That, like the they put like they usually they, they stamp them like depending on what time of year it is though. But that's that's it for us guys. Uh, once again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and um, we'll we'll see you at some point in the new year. And thank you for being a listener. I know we haven't done an episode in quite some time. But thank you for keeping us subscribed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The the just the standard sugar cookie. Yeah, there's, there's you gotta I, cook them perfect there. Where they taste like shit. Well, now the new thing with them is ice cream sandwiches out of those where you like bake them. No, I like across, them. I like them slightly burn on the bottom. It gives them a little mm. more. Uh, yeah, a little more taste to them. That's the new one. But um, thank you for listening and staying subscribed. I know we haven't put an episode out in quite some time. Um, I shared our Spotify rap numbers and they were really great. And thank you for all the new listeners. And we found that. I hope we retained you as well. Um, and uh, we'll be back. Enjoy, in the new guys. year. Yeah, Things we'll be got back. Hectic. Uh, we'll be back. So this is Christmas, and what have you done? Another year over, and a new one's just begun. And so.
just watching our cover of Happy Xmas. We just want to let you guys know that we are doing a ticketed event Christmas live stream on Tuesday, December 20th after our very last Christmas cover this year. It's going to be on Veeps and you can get tickets right now by clicking the link in the description. Also, we want to give a huge thank you to the Hagen History Center for letting us film at the Watson Curtsy Mansion. You can visit them online at eriehistory.org.